Absolutely. But first, as, as we like to do, we like to kick things off with something different and interesting at the top of the show. Yes. You'll remember, Phil, a couple of weeks ago I wore in my Duna suit. Because we'd, we'd spoken about it on occasions. It and looked like the penguin. Yes. So I, I thought I'd... Uh, we, I, I can't remember why it came up, but stupidly I said, oh, yes, I'll wear it into work one night. And not realising just how hot I was going to be <laughs> sitting here in the studio. Uh, did you have pants on to match as well? Yeah, ma matching pants. Oh. It's, it's a complete suit. Uh, um, anyway, so I, I put... I, wore it. Uh, Gigi very kindly uploaded the video of me wearing it to our Facebook page. <laughs> yeah. And then Gigi went out and bought herself one as well. Uh, okay. Uh, but the video was liked and noted by uh -huh. a guy named Jonathan. And the, uh -huh. the reason I, that was interesting was because Jonathan is actually the owner of the company who makes these things. I thought that it was some bloke probably imported uh, them from overseas. From and, China you know, or yeah, something. Yeah. yeah I, I thought you know, just a, some mm. bloke doing that. But no, this guy invented the Duna suits and he's with us now. Jonathan Charlton and hello. Hello, how are you, Simon? Yeah, very good, thanks. And yourself? Very well, thank you. Where did the idea of these... What are they officially called? I call it a Duna suit, but it's not, is it? Oh, look, you know, at Duna suit, Pacific Brands own the word Duna, so it's called a duvet suit. Ah, OK. Fair yeah. enough. So where did the idea for the duvet suit come from? Well, uh, look, originally I had a friend who had cystic fibrosis and... Uh, it, it actually came up at his funeral uh, that he was very inventive and wanted to create a Duna suit because he had to spend a bit of time on the couch. Um, and then I just kept hearing people talk saying, uh, at the pub saying, I wish I could wear my Duna. And just I don't know, lazy, lazy friends mm. of mine wishing they could wear their Dunas. And the, the idea sort of just kept percolating. And my sister-in-law then uh, got it, picked up the idea from me and, and made me a prototype. And, and it just grew from there. A very enterprising, are they? Do they come in different styles, Jonathan? Look, they do. I mean, originally they started off with the white, uh, I don't know, the, the, the traditional white tuna. Um, and then, I mean, I, I, I like chocolates and the, uh, the navy and camouflage. And then it progressed into cow print and leopard print was my, as my mum would say, that was my first sort of foray into actual fashion. Because um, the tuna suits, uh, I've never said it's actually fashion. But... Uh, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Um, so yeah, no, there's prints and colours for everyone. Like like Peter Alexander, I started off with the uh, the pastels, uh, the mm. the uh, powder pink and the uh, the sky blues and um, basic things like that, and then have expanded uh, as as the years have gone on. Do you do kids ones as well? Because that's the, another thought would be the, the one I've got is adult size. I, I assume there's a range of sizes. Do you do kids ones? I do do kids ones. I had a, I had a, I had a uh, big request for kids suits. They haven't been a, a, a massive market for me. The adults are definitely the, uh, the big market. Um, I think kids grow up too, uh, too quickly and grow out of them too quickly because yeah. they last, they, they actually last, I don't know, five years. I, it's it's mm. one of those things that I did marketing at, at uni and, and one of those things that I learned was make a product that um, you've got to have uh, uh, repurchase and uh, I think I've mm. almost done myself out of uh, people repurchasing because they last oh. too bloody long. And of course you put, <laughs> you put them away for six months of the year anyway at least. Uh, well, well no, 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 so, so you're saying that I've, I've had 40 degree days in summer where um, uh, at night it's all of a sudden got really cold oh. and then had to pull the Duna suits out at night just to keep the party going. Okay, and do many people wear them to bed in place of say, uh, you know, a Duna or an electric blanket? Well, originally it wasn't designed for that, but I do get a lot of people saying that um, it's probably more females as well, saying that they actually do wear them to bed because um, their partner I don't know, steals the covers off them, um, <laughs> and, and therefore and therefore they find it I don't know, extra warm to be able to sleep under and um, and and not have to worry yeah. about that. An excellent form of contraception too, I would imagine. Well, look, a lot of people say that uh, yes, they they aren't the sexiest things, but I actually do. I actually have done a big write up about how they actually can be uh, sexy in terms of if it's saving you money and um, and keeping you warm. Therefore, your partner's more likely to be mm. uh, sex feel sexy, oh. um, <laughs> and uh, and therefore, I don't know maybe want to play later. Yeah, sadly, Jonathan, in my case, it's a golden retriever pup. Mm, that's my that's my bad partner. Now, now, what about the opportunity of an overseas market for you? Look, I mean, oh, look, definitely. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of people say to me, "Oh, you've got to look at uh, the UK and the US." And uh, look, Australia is the perfect market in terms of our insulation is not fantastic. Therefore, 
uh, our, our climate is sort of the perfect market for it. And therefore, the UK is a very, very similar market. Um, I get a lot of people saying, what about Canada and stuff? And, and I, I think about it and then think, but a lot of times in those markets, they actually want to, they get home, put their clothes in the dry room and take all their clothes off. Um, so it's, it's, it's the cold states of the US, uh, mm. the UK and Australia that are absolutely fantastic. And you wouldn't have much demand north of, uh, north of the border, of course. Well, it's actually quite surprising. Two of my biggest markets are actually Queensland and Perth. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Well, Queensland, Perth's got a sort of a desert climate, so they get a really cold night. Yeah. And in Queensland, once they get below know, 22 degrees, they're freezing. Um, now, do you do things like uh, markets and stuff? Do you rock up at markets and, you know, wearing one in the middle of winter yeah. and uh, watch all these people freezing? And uh, I think they'd sell quite well there. Well, I've, I've, done, I've done them in the past. Um, look, I, I find that a lot of those markets, people are, I hate to say, they're tyre kickers and they want, they want, like, your $2 pairs of socks and things uh, like that. That is true, actually, <laughs> yes. So I, I generally stick to selling online. Um... So you can find me at lazypatch.com. Excellent. All right, written that down. Um, now, uh, dare I ask, um, you've had a little publicity from us here uh, in, in me wearing the thing and giving it a plug. It was certainly not chasing a freebie of any sort for us. I already own one, and Phil is extremely warm with his puppy at home. Um, could you do a deal for our listeners? Oh, look, of course I can. I've actually, I've actually gone ahead and set up a, uh, a discount, a 20% discount code. Oh. Um, so if, if people, when they go to the website and go into the online shop, if they use, use the word Nightline mm. as, the, uh, as the discount code, they get 20% off, and that lasts for, um, I think, up until Tuesday. Oh, that's generous of you, John. Very kind. Have you won any awards with, the, um, with this invention? I, I would well, think that... funny, funny you should say, I actually, I actually won the, uh, the 3AW Small Business Award, oh. I think, two years ago uh, with um, Dennis. Uh, uh, Dennis uh, Walter does that in the afternoon. Yeah, mm. yes. Yeah, good so, stuff. So, will this make you a multi-millionaire, Jonathan? Look, look. Hope, hopefully, if yeah, look, if I can finally get it into the UK and the US, yeah. um, I've been. Look, I've, I've had a great fun. I've had great fun doing it in Australia, and it's and it's done very well. Um, I just need the slightly bigger markets of the UK and the US. And uh, look, if it can do anything like the uh, the onesies, which, and I have to say, my product is about four times warmer than a onesie. Yeah. Um, Look, it, it, I, it I, I, I should be able to uh, compare myself to the inventor of the Ugg boot. Oh. That would be a good, th <laughs> a good thing to do. Uh, Jonathan, thanks very much for spending some time with us, and thank you for the kind offer for the listeners. I'll put, a, I'll put that on our Facebook page and tweet it and all that sort of thing. Uh, no, and, Simon, and, Simon, look, thank you very much again for, uh, for wearing the suit uh, on the show. No worries. My pleasure. It's, it's a great product. I, uh, I, I can do nothing more than endorse it because I know it's excellent and it keeps you very warm. And, you know, I, oh, thought, I thought he was going to give me one for my birthday, but it didn't happen, Jonathan. I got Phil, I, I'd, be more than happy, I'd be more than happy to send you one. No, mate, I'm not hinting. I, I don't want any, <laughs> any uh, charity. I wouldn't, I'd wouldn't. want to pay for it. But I got. Oh, look, look, happy, happy to send one. I, I got ten blocks of Cadbury's chocolate instead. <laughs> which, which, which oh, will, beautiful. Well, that'll give me the energy. That'll uh, be burning off calories, it'll won't it? Give you enough fat as well, yes. It will. It will. Good yeah. on you, Jonathan. Take care. All the best for lazypatch. Dot, uh, lazypatch. Dot com is it or dot com. Dot au? No, just odds. Either or. Okay, beautiful. Lazypatch. Dot com. Uh -huh. uh, that's Jonathan Charles.